Okay. Uh, anyway. I had a pretty, pretty rough day today, but not as bad as yesterday. Ended up having to push a dude off the, uh, push a dude off the bus or force him off the bus to get to work, which sucked, but what can you do? Let me check this one. Okay, yeah. So it looks like we gotta go to that, uh, tornado. I basically put it in rest mode at the exact moment I stopped, so, like, nothing's being lost so far. Which is nice. What are those? Whoa. So what the right. fuck? One for every fragment of our mind. What? Fragment of her mind? Oh shit. Wait, we gotta fight those mini bosses? Okay, I didn't work. And these things are all over the place. Like, these are mini bosses. Am I gonna have to fight them all? Yeah, these are just normal ass enemies now. The actual Jeruda mini boss thing is just a normal enemy. Yeah, it was totally on purpose. Okay, that's way easier to do that. It's not as bad as all that. They're pretty easy to kill. So I'm just messing around right now and clearing the room of uh, clearing the area of these. Okay, 
Okay, that's gonna get me every time. <laughs> I'm running way low on health. What the hell? I'll just stick to dodging. Yeah. Still no potions on the overworld. So I'm kind of, uh, kind of screwed for those. No holding back. Love that. Ooh. I feel like I'm definitely pushing my luck here. Like, I'm running super low on health, but at least I got all the elements. So, I'm not sure if that was worth it or not. I feel like it wasn't. But, uh, here we are. Uh, one potion. Two potions. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, are there any more, though? Did I miss any? Yes, I did. I missed one. Okay, better go back and get that. So yeah, this whole area just has like a bunch of elementals on the world map for no reason. That's not weird at all. Well, not for no reason. But you get the idea, like it's just like... Literal first interaction with Gerudo's... Okay, yeah, that's... Okay. My wounds boy.
Okay. That works. I don't think they respawn, but... You know, the funny thing is, I kind of recall the Geruda fight being, like, in the midst of the Benedicta fight. So I guess they adjusted that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go over there, maybe. But there's stuff over there, so you'd think I'd be able to get over there, but... I don't know. I need healing items bad. Like, I've used them all up. And I think Torgal's heal only applies to, like, uh, the white health bar. Or maybe it applies to, like, critical health, too. I'm not sure. But I don't have much health. Oh, no. Okay, I can't go that way. So it's literally... Go to the giant tornado of death. With critical health. Good job, me. I sure showed those mini bosses. <laughs> Tell me there's like a merchant or something I can use here. Tell me I can prepare for this boss fight, I know it's gonna happen. Nope. It's all closed off. The aim's like, yeah, no, fuck you. Go die. You made your bed, Clive, now lie in it. Okay then, I guess. Oops. I fucked up. Gonna go into this fight with 176 health. No damage. Let's let's do this. Oh, we have an obelisk at least. He's in there. I know it. Okay, never mind. That was the end of the level. So I'm safe for now. Relatively. Interesting. So all these obelisks are like at various points of the world map. Does that mean I could just go to each one? Or. Can I just freely travel between them? No, there's no way they'll let you do that. Now, I've noticed a lot of people have like complained that this game isn't really an RPG, and that is some. Bullshit, because this has like leveling and is therefore an RPG. Like it just it just fits the bill. Remember, Dragon's Dogma was also an RPG. Do you think we should go and help? Like it fits the basic requirement, therefore na 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 na. Don't All think that. I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your I'm gonna steal trouble, their food. I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. You can keep your gratitude, but I'll keep your shit. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Oh no. Clive, dominant of the oh, new man. icon of fire. How long has it been? Delivering hot meals. Whatever shall we do? Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> And so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. 
You see, you can tell this is a lot of bullshit because in the real food service industry, people would just curse you out for standing near them. You know, you give them their food and they're like, fuck off, I'm hungry. Let me eat. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Technically uh, accurate. Your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I'll I'll let him finish his thingy. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. I like how Clive's just the gruffest looking dude. Like, he's almost angrier than Cloud. And Cloud's like the go-to asshole protagonist. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. It left me half lame, truth be told. You keep forgetting I'm these guys are all slaves, so they're used to being treated like shit. Well, the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. They're literally in the middle of a ruin in an ash-filled wasteland with nothing in it. One. Hey, this is home! Let Kenneth know. That's depressing as shit. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. We can't take that Beyond for granted, but walls, yeah, these guys... We are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the turn first menu it's way too cold known. here. What? In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? All right. That works. We're gonna kick it. Yay. What is this? Oh, it's an orchestra. Hey, they have their own jukebox. This is great. I can't pet the toggle. Damn. And what do you want? Go on then. Okay, I need the bastard sword. It'd better I'll be here. Okay, how much do I have? Not much. Not much. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. What if I did, though? You're rubbing me blind, you know. <laughs> you got out else? I reckon I can find a buyer. Clerics medallion. Uh, bleh. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Okay. She's all right. 
the same for you, dear. It will last be you good a good while. That. Okay, it's for like reinforcing stuff. All right. My best work, it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. My best work, it'll do. Buy some, be quick about it. I reckon I can find a buyer. Finished, are you? Where to next? Okay, just going back to the area. Yeah, okay, you can just actively go back here and just revisit the area whenever you want. That's actually kind of cool. So if I wanted to, like, farm or grind, I totally could. That's neat as fuck. Okay, gotta get used to this. Okay, yeah, this is pretty good. If I ever need to just refuel, I'll just hit the map and travel back. No big deal. So the map stuff isn't like a mission select, it's just an area select.
I'm all you've got, boy. Oh, that was sick. What the fuck? That was so good. I didn't even think that would work. I was just spamming the button. It's like holding the holding the uh, attack button down like this. It's gonna hit. Oh yeah. When that combat clicks, it clicks good. That doesn't work. Gonna get it. Okay, are there any more in the area? I feel like there are. Like, I'm literally doing this for fun. Like, I don't even... I should be progressing the fight, but like, uh... I just want to keep fighting these. Okay. Uh, There we go. You don't get much experience for those, though. Look at it. This already. Okay. Back to full, but I still need to refill, so. Should probably head back. Where can I go? Can I just go to anywhere or huh. So it feels like the game's supposed to be mission to mission, because like every area is very linear. But apparently you can just go back and revisit them at will. I want to go back to the forest zone. I wanna see what that's like now. Like I don't think enemies will scale, so it's not like, oh yeah, you can go back and just kill anything. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. <laughs> okay, so...
last. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. I'll have to do. See if I can at least upgrade anything. I probably can't though. Well, so would it be? No upgrades. I require uh, plus one bastard sword. What the hell? Oh, okay. Well, can't upgrade that further. I guess. Uh, I can upgrade this though. Cool. Yeah, that should do you. I'm gonna do that. Steel crowns plus. So I've already got the plus two there. Anything else? See what the forest is like. Is that not doable? Okay, hold on, let's see. It was uh, Lost Wing, Care Norvent, Glorious Gate. Okay. Uh, Lost Wing, Order of Buildings. Uh, sure, let's go here. I don't even know if I can go through here. This doesn't look familiar at all. Oh, you can still see the, the tornado from here. So is this game like semi-open world or something? Or like... Was the first level just in like an exclusive zone? And it should happen in here too. People are making stuff. That's cool as fuck. So if I want to go through the forest, do I have to go back, or is it just closed off now? So I remember going through there, and it's like got to lost one. I think. Yeah. Okay. So here's Lost Wing. So I, I left Lost Wing to get to the other area, so I guess... So I guess if I want to, like... So I guess it's kind of an open world, and the only way to access it is to go unlock each checkpoint as you go through each level. So I could probably go back, right? Is that a thing? Or is it sealed off? Okay, it's kind of sealed off. Yeah, okay. Okay, that explains a lot, actually. So how do I go back to the cool forest? Game, what the fuck? Why'd you do that? Alright, well, let's go to the Eye of the Tempest. First. That's cool. That whole area is kind of semi-revisitable. And, like, you can actually see shit happening while you're, like, in the area. So it's not, like, level select. It's straight up just an area select. That's really neat. Kind of cool how, like, even though Sid's not really a fan of the whole revenge thing, he's still, like, encouraging J Clive to go after him. Where did he go? Oh, 
Okay. I'm not here for you, Garuda. fucking determined to kill this man. Like, he's walking into a goddamn tornado while Garuda's battering him and shit. And he's like, no, fuck you, Garuda. I'm gonna win. Fuck your win. You're just a side quest. Clive is so fucking funny. Seriously. He's braving an actual full-blown vortex just to fight this dude. Oh shit! That's not good at all.
Okay, now she just stack up mechanics. Okay, I'm about to die. Straight up feels like a Final Fantasy XIV raid almost. Because the way she's like combining mechanics really does feel like a phase two boss. Uh, phase two in a trial. Fucking her up. Oh, God damn. Yeah, he fucked her up big time. Well, there we go. Shit. <laughs> I got fifty five shots. Oh no, I got one shirt back. Okay. God, the disrespect. He just pulls the sword out by booting her in the face. Beauty God. <laughs> Not even remotely bothered, he's just like, man, fuck this. Why she even had to fight? Where's that dominant at? Nope, nope, never mind. She back. And stronger than ever, it seems. You're nothing. A monster. And I will not let you stand in my way! And that's when everything went straight to hell. Literally. Oh, Clive is gone now. Now it's Efreet time. Uncle Efreet about to teach Garuda the pecking order. Uncle Efreet about to fuck shit up Hulk Hogan style. He came out of nowhere, knocked Clive aside. Now he's the main character. It's fucking hike time. That wrestling heel's come in, he's about to kick some ass. He don't give a fuck. Who's in the way? Okay, so the controls are largely the same.
He's not even trying. He's just slow walking towards her. Uncle Eifer don't give a fuck. Like this. The way the music syncs up, oh my god. Okay, I'm getting used to this now. And no, I'm not used to this. It's just watching all this and going, what the fuck have I gotten myself into? It's watching two icons have like an epic anime battle and shit. Flexing this dude. Oh, wait, no, never mind. If it's got this. Hey, genius, air is flammable. We get a reenactment of the Phoenix fight. How that ended. God, he's just tearing her apart. Chokovich Kuti. Oh, boy. 
boy, here we go. That was pretty fucking cool. 10 out of 10. Definitely. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Man, that was cool as shit, though. So I wonder if this is the sequence that caused Susie Hunter's uh, PS5 to explode. Just throwing that out there. I mean, it feels like it is. It does. Control it, Clive! It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! Oh shit, he brought Ramu out. Okay, well, there goes a wrestling heel. You're too nice, is your problem. Bloody mess, this. You know, I kind of have hope Benedict came out of this alive. But I doubt it. Still, you never know. The ghost you've been chasing was inside you all along. I'll be damned if I know what that means. Oh. She's seen better days. Uh, get her to the hideout and she'll just shake it off, right? Man, 
Maybe? She'll Why? shake it off. Why did you have to listen to him? Benner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? Okay, yeah, she ain't walking that off. Shit, that sucks. I feel really bad for Sid because he's the old man who's watching out his friends make bad choices, die or get hurt. That sucks. He's going through a lot of shit right now. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay, I guess. The king is bold, but desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. Breath fill your wings. That's cool as fuck. Okay, the giants are down. Let's get back to killing each other. That worked out. He's so used to this that he doesn't even have the bleeding thing yet. We formed the cohorts. At what? Or maybe he does? I, I don't know. Because they can't do this for very long. Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital? What if my father is His radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. Yep. It is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. I get the impression that was probably part of Barnabas' plan. Because the more this dude summons Bahamut, the more it'll tax him. And I'm guessing that's the entire goal. Okay. Me. I killed Joshua. Oh, 
Oh, well, that explains why he's in jail. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it. End it. <laughs> Please! Please! Ah! Somebody punch him. Thank you. <laughs> I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll uh, see you in the hall. I have a lot of questions about how Ifrit's involved in all this, because, like, why did we, why did Ifrit attack Phoenix in the first fucking place? Clear Clive wasn't in control, but, like, how does that even work? What are you going to do now? We'll hear what he has to say. Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? So I'm guessing Sid tossed him in there because he was worried that Clive might end up killing himself. But you know, I crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen, I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Okay. Yes? What? Going purse weighing you down? Better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I wonder if I can upgrade anything. Make it quick. So will it be? Ooh, I can make this. It last you a good while. Okay, reinforce. Not? Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. Okay. Right. It. Oh well. Fine. So I've got a, I've got a Geruda sword at least. Geruda, Geruda. Uh, 
It's like the GIF and GIF thing. Okay, I have not tried to master anything, and that's concerning. I should at least try to, I don't know, mess around a bit. Oh, why are these all so expensive? Though? We could wheel. Deadly Embrace. Okay. Gouge is really powerful. I need that. Okay, I got 175, so I may as well do nothing, because I can do nothing. Shit. Okay, these are all unavailable. So it's just this area here. So the real question is, why is Clive the new dominant? How does that even work? What does the hooded guy have to do with everything? Is it Joshua? He's Joshua, isn't he? Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted, making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Okay, pre-mission pet. Good boy. There we go. Just gonna snap right into the animation. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Why the fuck is this game so goddamn beautiful? Seriously. What is this lighting? What is this? What is this game? The more I look at it, the more I'm thinking, how is this game real? People are saying the combat's easy, and that's technically true, because you kind of have to choose to dodge things, but... 
I like the fact that you can self-impose the challenge and get more of a reward that way. Oh boy. It's everyone's favorite. Deviant Art Minotaur. Okay. Wake wins. Every time. That's done. That thing was clearly made by a very talented furry artist. I'm very pleased with that. <clears throat> a compliments to whoever made that. Still, my god. That was a tough fight. Another perfect little shortcut, Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. God, why does this game look this way? Like, this is the coolest fucking shit ever. Can't be much further now. Okay. Peace mode activated. Yeah! 
All right. Oh no. Come on. Let me through. I'm gonna try to start my phone. That was rough. I can find a checkpoint so I need to restock. Or I could just do that. Okay, so far so good. He's planning to suicide. Torgo's like, no, you don't. Don't even. Don't even kid like that. <laughs> Who's gonna give me pets? After him! Don't let him escape! Gas! Oh, god damn it. Who goes there? This one's a deserter. Take his head. Out of my way. You made your choice. Too slow. Oh boy, another dragon. What are the odds? 
and his pet dragon. Because of course a dragon has a dragon for a friend. And the fox. Wow, these guys don't. Okay. Never mind. Very good. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. Comes in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> could die. That works too. Try that again. You can't kill me multiple times. I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. <laughs> Oh, okay, double jump. My yeah. wounds, boy. Not this time. Coming out faster. Oh, 
Damn, these dragoons don't fuck around. Come on. Come on, Gab, no dying. No tragic hero death. Come on, man. have the Geruda grab. Come on. You have the Geruda grab. Use the grab, damn it! Help me. Help me, Clive. Should better be important. Why didn't he just use the Garuda grab? That don't make no sense. Damn cutscene to gameplay ratio. doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing deers would be over. Thank you. Truly. So, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I... I saw him too. You didn't 
dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. But I do know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. to where it all began. Okay, it is Joshua. He must be stopped. So Joshua just sort of came back. Cool. I mean, he is the dominant of Phoenix. It'd be weird if he didn't. Staying up way too late. to fire you as like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. <laughs> right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goots, come with me. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. Oh, oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? So? All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Jill. God damn, this man's been through a whirlwind of shit all in like a single week. Turned into Ifrit. Found out he probably killed his brother. And what do you want? Go on, then. Clive's been through some shit. Okay, uh, sell that. You got out else? Okay. You'll not find a better price than that. Okay. Can't purchase that, can I? Nope, that's 11k. I am not purchasing that. Finished, are you? Make it quick. What do you want? Oh, 
Let's get this fixed before someone... Probably shouldn't be up this late. It's true then. It really is you. It is. Clive! You're alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yes. Thaya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived. About Fink's gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Iron Home. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or... ...see my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. What? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night, Good man, he, he spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon, then, Clive. I should be ready, too. We've 
We've a long journey ahead of us. Oh my god, it's a Final Fantasy Moogle. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Nectar, you say? Clive. How does he understand him? So it would seem. That sounds painful. Okay. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pet. I have three meals for three industry. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busy. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. Okay, I guess we're doing this then. I just don't have enough teams to I'll see a mug of Kenneth's coldest. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Kenneth sent me. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Okay, I think the Maltone is slowly okay. After this fetch quest, I'm gonna call it a night. Probably should have gotten to bed earlier, but. Ooh, well. mm, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. Honestly, this game's graphics are kind of off the charts. Like, seriously. What sort of fucking magic went into it? We're looking at half a dozen. Let's get this fixed before someone. Okay, that's not the right way at all. Can't jump around it. I wouldn't give for some wild Come on, deliver the meal! Yay! Can I help you? Can I send me? Ah, 
wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. I hate to be a burden, but thank you. Could really do with a proper place to train. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. Amp, that sure was a difficult side quest. Hardest one ever, etc., etc. <sighs> okay, I think I'm um, gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the night. Yeah,